So do any of you remember learning about obligate mutualism? For more than 40 million years, there's been a relationship between the yucca plant and the yucca moth. And it's a very important one because neither one of them can maintain life without the other. The larva of the yucca moth require the seeds of the yucca plant in order to feed as it is, a, it is their only host. And the yucca plant can only be pollinated by the yucca moth. Each species depends on the other for survival and they both benefit from this relationship. The adult moths do not actually feed, but they have tentacles around their mouth for gathering pollen, and they will travel from flower to flower until they find a suitable one that has not been visited by another moth, and they can tell this by pheromones. Once the moth finds a suitable flower, it will lay its eggs, and then it will crawl inside the flower, scraping off the pollen from its antenna and depositing it inside the flower itself. This is to secure that the flower will make enough pod seeds for the larva to feed on, as well as secure its own survival. Once the larvae are done eating, they go underground to pupate where they can stay for longer than one year and try to coincide with next year's blooming yucca flowers.